Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. Today we're making a faux fur foxtail, or wolf, or whatever you want to call it. So, kind of like this one, but the one we're building today is going to be better than this because this was my first attempt a few years ago for a Halloween costume. So, I, I do like this one. It's got a nice core and it's got this ring that you can attach whatever you want, like a little carabiner so you can clip it on your belt or, you know, whatever you want. But, I don't really like this one, so we're going to do it again. This time. I've got this. So this is uh, aluminum armature wire that, oh gosh, and the core goes all the way down to about right there. So then it sticks out away from the body as you're, and this will go onto the belt. Away from the body. Anyway, this will go onto a belt and click on so it'll be a lot more secure. And then so we're just going to have this core, this is just braided yarn to start out as long as you want it to be and then we're going to attach the little pieces of yarn to this and we'll be done. To start out you need to go and pick up one or two rolls depending on how large you want to make this tail um, two rolls of yarn and they need to be a hundred percent acrylic or else it won't work so make sure it says that it doesn't really matter what you buy so this is the one um, this I guess knit or weave is the one that we made the first one out of and also the core of the one we're making today but then this one is a little bit finer it's like this this one's a little bit finer got it all cut up already looks like spaghetti but uh, it is also where does it say it sometimes it's hard to find right there 100 percent acrylic so it'll still work so to start out you need to cut a length of yarn about this long and then we're going to tie it in half right so it's going to be that long roughly the best way to do this is to kind of just cut a piece and then brush it out and see where it breaks because you want the piece of yarn that you start with to be longer than what it will end up being because if you cut it short then the hair gets all choppy and it, it looks like a really bad haircut so just take a piece and gosh dang it, everything's outside. Okay. So with your piece of yarn, just kind of pick a spot, cut off a a little sample about four inches long, four to five inches, and brush it out with a dog comb. And you'll see where it breaks. So now it ends right there. So that's how long it needs to at least be that long because it'll break there and it has a really nice taper and then when you have a lot of these together it, it blends really nice, really well together. If it's shorter than this, like if you started like this, and this is a lot more apparent when you have more strings together, like in a bunch, you brush and you brush and you brush and you see how there's no taper there and it, and it just looks, like I said, like a bad haircut. So you want it to be like this. This is much better. Get a sample and say, I need it to be at least that long. Then double that, add a little bit longer, maybe add another inch to that length um, for a knot, and then cut a bunch of those. So what I did is I wrapped the string around a cup, and I made a whole bucket of them. So we're gonna take this bucket and tie it onto our core. So let's get to it. Tyler. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. Three, two, one, action. Here we go. So we've got the core all set and um, this will all break off when I braid it so I'm not gonna worry about cutting that so it'll just, you know, brush out. So we're gonna start here. I'm gonna grab three strands and I'm gonna do a pretty even distribution of the, the different values of gray that I have. So I'm just going to grab three random strands of gray, and I've got my, what's this called? It's not crochet. It is crochet. It's a crochet hook. Crochet hook, yeah. Crochet hook. Shove it through, just kind of just a random spot. And pull that through. And just do a simple overhand knot in the center, as close to the center of that as you want. 
just like that. And you can do another one if you want, but that's that's pretty much all you need. You can do another one, make it a square knot, make it super secure. But that's all you need. And then you're just going to keep repeating that all the way up the core. You can follow whatever kind of pattern or whatever you want, you know. Doesn't you're just making it up as you go. It's not a big deal. And the more little bunches you put in here, the fluffier your tail will be in the end. So we're just going to fill this thing up with these little guys and then brush it out. Okay, so we got all of the little strings attached. What I ended up doing is doing six strings all at once into each little node, I guess, or little crossover in the core. So this is a um, four strand round braid in here um, and then each strand is made up of five pieces of yarn just so it's thicker right and then we've got the aluminum core in there so that we can manipulate and bend that and hold it to shape so everything's in here now and then as you're doing this um, if there's any places that you feel are lacking you can always just go in and kind of open it up and add more string it's not that big a deal so once you have it like this then you can start brushing it out and it turns into this which is super soft and fluffy which is so awesome so we're gonna get all this brushed out with a dog brush and it's gonna make a huge mess so you just keep working it be patient and once you start kind of feel it not grabbing so much anymore just clean the brush out and you'll end up with a big old pile of lint at the end of it So you see how um, the colors are really choppy and you can definitely see the layers of yarn. That will stay there forever and you'll never get rid of it if you cut your strings too short. But if you cut them long enough, then they all have that nice taper like I showed you before and they all blend together really nicely like this and you don't really have layers. So this kind of feels like a, a little hollow spot right here when you brush it out. See there, there's kind of a step there. It needs a little bit more string right in this area. So I'll go ahead and add another piece there and add some in to fill in that void. So as you're working, you can kind of go back and forth and build it up that way. Well, Unfortunately, I completely hate the way this has turned out. So, I'm going to give it to my kid as a present. <laughs> it's nice and fluffy. I did actually um, straight iron this section. But, for some reason, it doesn't look any different. The other one that I did, it completely changed it when I ran it through the iron. But it didn't do anything to this one for some reason. But, you know, it's okay. It's, it's not terrible, but there's a lot of things I don't like about it. So, you live and learn. You just, you know, it's okay to fail sometimes. Ciao for now. Today, we're making a faux fur. Is that what it's called? Faux fur. Making a faux fur. That's hard to say, Tyler. It's hard to say, faux fur. <laughs> a faux fur. Oh, I can't say it. Oh my gosh. What are you saying? I can't say faux fur. Faux fur? Oh, faux fur. <laughs> How'd we lose that? I like that. Oh.